Sort is another important operation in a database management system. Why it is important though? First, because we use it in our queries, when we have queries that need the answers in a certain ordered way. It also can help in database management system functionalities such as bulk loading a tree. But even more important, sort is an important operation as a step in performing other relational operations, such as duplicate elimination, or specifically for joins. How do we perform sort? You might say by building an index on the sort key and then using that key to read the relation in a sorted order. Well, that is only logical. What if you actually need physical ordering of the data? As in the applications we just discussed. Since it is a widely used operation, sort is extensively studied in database management systems. It is studied in case of relations that can completely fit in the memory, as well as relations that are larger and cannot completely fit into the memory. While the first case, meaning the case that the relation fits into the memory, can benefit from standard sorting techniques such as quick sort, the second case is an important problem for database management systems. We are going to discuss external merge sort as a solution for sorting relations that are larger than they can fit into the main memory. To grasp the idea behind external sorting, let's start with the simplified version of external sorting with a two-way merge sort. As mentioned, external sorting is for sorting of relations that do not fit into the memory. So, a natural way of performing it is breaking it down to portions that we can deal with in the memory. Therefore, when sorting a file in different steps, we need to produce sorted subfiles, meaning portions of the file that are sorted. We will refer to each of these sorted subfiles as a run. We sort the file by breaking it into different subfiles that can fit into the memory, which are at the page size, sort and merge those subfiles in different passes of the algorithm and produce the result. Put it together in clean cut steps, this could be done by reading pages one by one into the memory. Performing in-memory sorting on pages using an algorithm such as quick sort and then merge them together in each run. Assume we have a file of size n which can be expressed as 2 to the power of k for some k. In pass 0, 2 to the power of k subfiles of the size of a page are read and sorted using an in-memory sort algorithm like quick sort. In pass 1, pairs of pages from output of previous step are merged together and 2 to the power of k minus 1 sorted runs of 2 page size are generated. In pass 2, those are merged together to runs of twice as long. And this continues. Until at pass k, all subfiles are put together and we have a sorted complete file. This simplified version is possible with three pages of main memory. Practical implementations use many, many more pages. An analysis. If the number of pages in the file is n, number of passes has a logarithmic relation with n. The overall cost, being the number of IOs needed for this operation, will be the number of passes times 2n. Because in each pass, we read every page in the file, process it, and write it out. Let's see this with an example. Assume we have a relation with 12 tuples. In pass 0, 
we create four one-page sorted runs. In merge pass one, we produce two sorted runs, each by merging the two of the sorted runs in the previous step. After merge pass two, we finally produce a single sorted output file by merging the two two-page sorted runs. The general external merge sort works similarly, using two main steps, sort step and merge step. In the first step, it creates sorted runs. It starts at the beginning of the relation, reads the file for relation, block by block until the end of the relation, and for each block read, it sorts the block in memory and writes it out as the sorted run. In the second step, instead of a two-way merge of our simplified version, it merges the runs in a multi-way merge. If we have B blocks of memory available, it uses B minus one blocks of memory to buffer input runs and one block to buffer output. It reads the first block of each run into the buffer page and repeatedly selects the first record among all buffer pages, deletes it from the buffer page and writes it out to the output buffer until all pages are empty. If N is the number of pages in the file, and B is the number of memory buffer pages available to us, pass zero will produce N divided by B one page runs. The number of passes with similar approach we had for a two way run will be logarithmic, but to the base of B minus one. This is because we use B minus one buffer pages for input and the remaining buffer for output to perform a B minus one way merge. The overall cost will be the number of IOs required, which similarly is the number of passes times two N. This is because every page in the file is read, processed, and written out in every pass.